Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to take a look back at the 2009 Mr. Olympia event. This Olympia is one of the most interesting Olympias of all time because it was the first time in history that a Mr. Olympia winner had lost and then regained the title. As you guys can see on screen, Jay Cutler was the man who made history at the 2009 Mr. Olympia, regaining his title and dethroning the reigning champ Dexter Jackson. To understand why this Olympia is looked back upon so fondly, let's take a look at the 2007 and 2008 Mr. Olympias. In 2007, a year after Jay Cutler had finally defeated Ronnie Coleman, Jay brought his worst look to date, according to many fans. Lots of them believed that the runner-up, Victor Martinez, should have won the show, since Victor looked outstanding and Jay looked rather mediocre. Jay lacked condition and proportions, and on a recent Cutler cast episode, Milo Sarsev said, In 2007, everyone expected you to win, and you were not really in perfect shape. So you could slip by one space, maybe, but they didn't even allow that to happen. If I was the judge, says Milo Sarsev, that was a gift. But 2007, if I was a judge, you'd be fourth, said Sarsev. Jay won the show, but at a cost. His reputation was now stained, with many bodybuilding legends and fans agreeing that Jay winning was unfair, yet there was still some hope that he could bring a better package the next year. In 2008, Jay Cutler came in better condition, hoping to remedy the disappointment he caused fans in 2007. Although he came in better condition, many believed that his ever-thickening waistline threw his proportions and symmetry off that year. He came into prejudging holding water and did not look that hard. However, by finals, he was much drier and looked a lot better. Unfortunately, a consequence of leaning out was a lack of fullness, which ultimately caused him the loss. The winner, Dexter Jackson, came in with added muscle and razor-sharp condition, which did enough to win the title. Jay knew that he had let everyone down, and now was fully determined to give it his all the next year. The 2009 Mr. Olympia featured a pretty stacked lineup, having Dexter Jackson, the reigning Mr. Olympia, the gift, Phil Heath, Kai Green, who was making his Olympia debut, Victor Martinez, who was making his return to the Olympia stage, and many others. Since Jay had displayed rather lackluster packages for the past two years, many were unsure who would walk away with the title, since the caliber of competition was so fierce. When Jay walked out on stage, everyone was shocked. Just listen to what the commentators of the Mr. Olympia had to say, along with their reactions. Well, with a new hairstyle and what looks to be a new physique, Jay Cutler takes the stage. He, of course, is from right here in Las Vegas, so he's got a lot of fans. And what you're looking at appears to be a, a much improved version, Pep, of what we saw a year ago. Now, I don't want to rush the conclusions. We still have a lot more guys to see. But when Jay walked out last year, he was noticeably off. Um, Dexter Jackson took full advantage of that and took the title away from Jay. Jay spent six years trying to win that title and take it from Ronnie, and it only took him two years to give it back. So, Pep, I'm going to ask you to break down the physique of Jay Cutler tonight. Well, this is a superior version of Jay Cutler than we've seen. Um, one thing that impressed me right away when he hit his front double bicep, you know, Jay's taken a lot of criticism that Back, his bicep. arms aren't in balance, his legs aren't in balance. They look very much in balance now, and look at his conditioning, um, his glutes, his hamstrings, his lower back. He looks phenomenal. I, I would have to think that this is better than when he beat Ronnie Coleman in 2006. And look at the fullness. Well, He's just kind of nailed it straight around you heard it from the commentators themselves jay really did nail it he had superb conditioning freaky mass and better aesthetics from the year prior he arguably came in better shape than his 2001 version which many regard as his best shape ever shockingly branch warren defeated dexter as well and took the second place spot he came in with crazy grainy condition however i will say that dexter could have placed above him there and, you know, there could have been some politics involved in Dexter not placing second place. This placing was even more surprising because he wasn't really considered a threat in those top spots. However, he came in great shape and rightfully took out some top names. 
One of the most memorable and jaw-dropping moments from this Olympia was Jay Cutler's famous quad stomp. I think everyone has seen this picture before, and it truly highlights Jay's insane condition and freaky mass that he had that year. So, to wrap up, the 2009 Mr. Olympia is regarded so highly because of all the events that led up to the show, namely Jay's previous performances and the stacked lineup, along with Jay's insanely dominant shape. In my opinion, he wiped the competition and easily secured his third Sandow trophy. The cherries on top were Jay's reclaiming of the Olympia title, something that nobody had or has ever done since, as well as the insane lighting that some of you may have noticed, which made all the competitors look phenomenal. Anyways, this was one of my most favorite Olympias ever, and I hope you all liked this quick video on why it was such a special competition. If you enjoyed, liking and subscribing is always appreciated as I'm trying to get to a thousand subs, and comment down below if you want to see more videos where I take a look back at past Olympias or competitions. Thank you for watching.